It's time for baseball in the Bay Area as we welcome you to the Oakland Coliseum. It's a potential elimination matchup in game two of this best of three postseason series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Oakland A's. Game two of the NL Division Series is next. Riding in is Wander Franco. He will lead this one off today. The afternoon for Milwaukee. The Here comes Franco. No balls and a strike to count. First hit. Right side hit hard, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Here's Byron Buxton now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Franco gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Again, another foul ball. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Throw over to first. And he'll be back in standing up. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Grounded back up the middle. Crawford's got it to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And that will bring in the third baseman, Chipper Jones. Now a throw over, but the runners back easily. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As the first pitch to him swung on and missed to strike one. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. Behind 0 and 2 now. Runners on first with one down. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Two down with a runner at first and that'll bring up David Ortiz. Popped him up. Groshans is there to make the catch and the side is retired. now is Dante Bichette. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And gone. An absolute bomb. Now Pablo Sandoval. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there is strike one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. Now one down with the bases empty. And here comes the babe. As the first pitch to him is in there for a call strike one. Ruth is a guy that thrives in these opposite handed matchups. He's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right handed pitching. Yeah because he's thinking big part of the field. He's not a dead cold guy. This is a guy that likes to use gap to gap. And when that's happening you stay on anything fading away from him. So it was a strikeout swinging. Babe Ruth becomes out number two this inning. He's got it. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. So now into the box is Trey Turner. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here's the first pitch. 
McClanahan has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Timing just to take off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. Here's Sandoval now at third. In time to first and there are two away. Base is empty two away and in to hit next it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Now to the plate, Cliff Floyd, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Fouled off. The wind up, and the 0 1. Oh, fastball game. pretty close that time but ruled the ball one and one. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So the next to bat will be Tommy Pham. Ready with the first pitch. Tommy. Here it comes. Fair. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is there. Two gone. Bases are empty here with two away. And stepping in, the slip field and shortstop Brandon Crawford. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Now he'll try to butt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. A shortstop behind with a 1 and 2 count. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And we'll wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Two Whoa, balls and two strikes to Crawford. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game Carlos Santana hit down the third baseline but a foul ball here 0 and 1 and that misses 1 and 1 I love everything this pitcher's got working right now he's got presence He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Hammered the other way to deep right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Acuna digs in now. Once he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Santana stands at second with no outs. Swung out and belted. Looking up is Bichette. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't Brings up Wander Franco. 
swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He singled to open up the ball game. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. All the makings of a big inning right here. One already left a yard, and the power hitters are coming up. Another one sent foul. Base is empty here with nobody out. Fly ball out to straightaway right. The shed is there, and that's the first out of the inning. So now to the plate, Byron Buxton, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. And there are two away now. So two away in the Brewers' half of the third. And standing in now, one of the best players of the past two decades, the great Chipper Jones. Popped him up. Perez is there. And that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Eric Haas. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I always felt, oh, too, you had to cover away. If a guy's going to bury you in three yep, times in a row, you tip your cap and walk back to the dugout because that's not easy to do. So one, two. Acuna coming in. Play Jordan Groshans. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Standing in now. Dante Bichette. One attempt, but this one might have too much on it. One there on the first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Digging in, the switch hitter, Pablo Sandoval, trying to bring in the time run from third here. Pitch inside the throw. Well behind the play, that's an easy stolen base. Playing a ball hit on the ground. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Got the weak lead to the left. Hans, the runner at third. Bichette is over at second with one down in the inning. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. First pitch on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. On the first, and the A's failed to catch in here as the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, David Ortiz. Rounded softly to the right. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So one down, no one aboard. And that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. Drilled right back up the middle. And in the center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 0 1 pitch. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. Turner's on his horse on his way to second. Pitch outside the throw. It's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. There's a swing and a high blast 
headed for the corner and right. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. If I'm standing on the mound right now, I'm not feeling too confident about where I'm locating my baseball. If it's getting pushed out for power the other way, you would have to think he's going to have to come inside at some point and try and tie this guy up. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Hans finds it, and he is in there. Next, it'll be Chris Taylor. He's got runners in the corners here with only one gun. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Here's Carlos Santana now as this is grounded foul off to the left. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Now a fastball that's taken close that time but it's one and one. Bouncer to the left side. And indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. So two on with two away and that will bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Junior who gets dirty but he can't get there and it's into center field and the runner from second is in to score make it five to one. Into the box now wonder Franco as he lifts it in the air to right field long run for the right fielder he can't get there so the inning will continue. That'll play run number six. It's now a six to one ball game. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Very weakly on the ground. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh, and one, here it comes. In the dirt, did he go around? Yes, he did. And that ends the end. Salvador Perez set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, I've got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A.B. to get this team going. Front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. The next one take pitch. Acuna's there for it. He's got it one away. Stepping up is Cliff Floyd, struck out in his first at bat. Throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped up. Jones into foul territory, and this is going to be a foul ball. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Stepping in now, Tommy Pham. No comment. And we'll hold off on the slider yeah. here to start the at bat. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Pham with an even 1 and 1 count now. From the stretch. High in the air down the right field line. 
but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now Runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting shortstop in San Francisco oh, Bay Area native Brandon Crawford. 0-1 the count from the belt. Kicks and deals. Floyd leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Runners off for second. And look out as that one ran in and got him. So now here is Eric Haas. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. And that misses ball one. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. One ball, two strikes. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Chipper Jones. Chipper. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Up to the plate now is David Ortiz. Hot shot on the ground is short. And there's his first base hit in this one. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. And he puts it on the ground to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Oh, just in time as he was flying down the line that time. Here's Pete Alonzo. for two on the afternoon so far. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Mickey Janice was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Chris one Taylor over. stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 0. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. 1 1. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Next to hit is Carlos Santana. He bounced out last time up. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. High and deep to left center field. A ball that's tearing. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Now at the plate is Jordan Groshans. He collected a base hit his first time up. Jordan. A ball and no strikes. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is there and he has it for the first down. So next to bat will be Dante Bichette. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he takes ball one. Ball one, no strike. And he fouls this one off. It's two That's and one ball. to the A's leadoff batter. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. 
Now he did well to get a piece that time and it'll stay two and two. And he tries okay. to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Fouled off. Now here it comes. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Next up, Pablo Sandoval. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Lying towards Sandoval. center field. Buxton is there now, and he has it to gone. Next up is Babe Ruth. Over two on his Definitely line this far. Hey. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Pichette is off the first with two away. And that one yanked just foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out as seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. First pitch on the way. Turned on down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Easy take on the inside with the knuckleball coming that time. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at bat to start this great. inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And the knuckleball ties him in knots there, and that's the first out. And the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Crawford. And there's out number two. Digging in will be Byron Buxton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Popped him up. Perez has a play. And the inning is over. of the sixth inning now and up next the former World Good Series game. hero Salvador the Perez. Salvador Perez. Ortiz over to his left and that's the first out of the inning. So one gone for the now A's and they're half of the sixth it. and the free swinging Good. Cliff Floyd will stand Four. in. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that oh. first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. A ball and a strike now. Acuna is there for it. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Striding in for Oakland, Tommy Pham. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Brandon Crawford digging in next. And he'll so go after the first pitch to him. He comes up empty at strike one. And there he goes towards second. Pitch is high. The throw is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. One and one. Here it comes. Two and one. And here's a pitch taken by Crawford for a ball. Three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. 
Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count in his favor three and one. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Yes. No Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring in the third baseman, Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Stepping in once again is David Ortiz. He's working on a one for three thus far. Shoots this one over to first. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Trey Turner as he'll send a ground ball down to third to Crawford for one relay to first in time and just like that the side is retired and now here is Eric Haas struck out in his last trip to the plate yeah he's got to put that one behind him especially with runners in scoring position those punch outs will stick with you a little longer and a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out so here is Jordan Groshans he flew out in his last debut into the corner and slicing foul the wind up and the 0-1 he comes up empty no that time as he's right. underneath it 0 and 2. Well, he got the leadoff guy hitting on a ground out. And now he's 0 and 2 to start this at bat. He looks really sharp so far to start the seven. Into the windup and the pitch. Got it. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Dante Bichette. Yes. Ripped on the ground to first. A dive. He's got it. How about that? Ready to begin the eighth. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Here's a chopper for the shortstop. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next for Milwaukee, Chris Taylor has got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a liner. But taken in over at first for the second out, as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. So two gone now in the Brewers' half of the eighth. And that will bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Go on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, here is Pablo Sandoval. First pitch of the A.B. now. Thunderball. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball right side. And he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And there's ball one. He one obviously one. wanted that call in the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call and yeah. he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. 
still one and two. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game. Just pounding the zone with a high 90s fastball. It almost looks like he's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. And that's in there. Base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. So now to the plate, Cliff Floyd. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He went down on strikes last time up. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The wind up and the 0-1. Drill down the line. And this is right by Sandoval down the line. A fair ball. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. In now, Wander Franco. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got two hits in four at bats. In the dirt. This one bounces off the pitcher. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. At the plate now, Byron Buxton has the first pitch to him, a sinker in the dirt for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Bichette has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. But he'll wisely think better of it as he retreats to third, and that's an important first down. Now into the box, Chipper Jones flew out last time up. And he'll swing and send a chopper to third. The second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Ortiz, singled in his last at bat. Now here's the first offering. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Crawford fields it cleanly. On to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and up next it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Now here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Acuna, he gets there and makes the play for the first out. Next to stand in is Brandon Crawford. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Hey, in this day and age where everybody's watching the pitch count, that was pitch number 100 in the ninth inning, but he still looks awfully impressive on the mound. Fouled away. Oh, two pitches, a curveball that misses one and two. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Jones moving to his left. Two gone. Digging in next, Eric Haas. He grounded out last time up. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that. He brings it in, and the Brewers have gotten the all-important road victory here in Game 2. They even up the series before heading home as this one is over. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that. Going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win.
one more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory.